Hey you guys, Jacob Kendrick's Fashion World, and today I'm doing a fishing, unbagging, and unboxing. Let's get into it. So, first off, let's start with the Lucky Tackle Box. Now, I like Lucky Tackle Box and Mystery Tackle Box. I feel like they're just, I like them anyway because I grew up watching their YouTube and all that, and getting stuff like this in the mystery tackle box and lucky tackle box. So let's see what we got. Well, as y'all can tell, I already looked into it. Look at all that goodness. But, got LTB ex exclusive Big and Bay square bill. And I think this color is in, it's called the Bank Runner. It says, it doesn't say the color, but it looks kind of like a ghost bluegill, kind of. Got the knockout bait, jerk bait. This would be good for tournament season this year because I'm fishing the school tournament, so that'd be key. <laughs> then got the live target um, by Daniel William, David William, or I think his name is, yeah. And it's in Tennessee Crawl. Oh yeah, his name's David Walker, MLF Major League Fishing Touring Pro, live target. I'll open this up for y'all and show y'all this really quickly. I get it open. This thing is hard, but it's like a diving. I think it's a shallow diver, but it's like a deep in, deep diver. It has a short bill though. It's like a crawfish imitation. See the eyes in the back of there too. Then I got the uh, bait holder 1217 size six six piece a double barb, and these are drop shot hooks. Also, if y'all wondering, I haven't read what's on the card yet, but I'll show y'all in a minute. Then got the California Classic Bait Co. Curvy Worm. And this is like a finesse Cinco. It looks like, but it's like a finesse trick worm, too. Uh, y'all tell me what that's supposed to imitate. I know it's finesse. Then got these flukes, which I'm assuming you can text rig them, Carolina rig them, or um, use it without a weight. And then you can also drop shot these. Let's see here. And then right here, it says the Big and Baits comes in at $6.99. Prom, prom, primitive Fluke, $3.49. Knockout Bait Co. Shadow Boxer, $6.49. California Classic Curvy Worm, $4.99. Bait Rigs, Drop Shot Hooks, $3.99. And plus the David Walker Signature 10 Crawl, $9.99. So it all rang up to $35.94. So you're on a budget, but you're getting about this much of worth of baits, which is kind of cool. Now, I'm going to get into the next one. Let's get it. Oh, and I forgot to tell y'all, I got some new rods. One of them is my friend's rods, but he wanted me to showcase them on my YouTube channel. This is going to be in some fishing videos with me here soon. So, and I got some other rods I wanted to show y'all. New ones and some old ones I just recently bought, but I haven't used them yet. But, um, so this one's from Baitmate. This is like, well, I like Bass Dynasty. I like any kind of scent. I usually don't use scents. So I prefer to use not scents, but with this company right here, uh, Baitmate, I'll even drop them in. I'll post it on my Instagram too, and I'll like all that but i really appreciate this company they send out free samples but whenever i asked them for it they said they had a, they they basically sent me a good bit of stuff and i'm very thankful for it this would help me with tournaments too and, I, and i'm gonna i think i'm an ambassador for them as well let's get into it so well i i have friends who need face masks and i and i need face masks and my tournament partner and uh got the bait mate sig signature 
uh, the signature face mask. And you can use this for all types of appliances. It's for turn inside out, grab ins, pull through, pirate, turn inside out, twist, pull down, beanie, neck scarf, headband, wristband, all the above. And I even put it on for y'all. So I can rock them right quick. That's what it looks like, y'all. Bait made for life. And uh, as y'all can tell, I love the fish a lot. Because I have a lot of stuff. But people are sending me some stuff. Uh, who, who, I'm, who are helping me out some more baits and all that. New products and all kinds of stuff like that. Y'all know who y'all are. Thank you for helping me out. But, and then got some uh, stickers from Baitmate. A lot of them, too. Then I got, um, so I got Max Ultra Game Fish Concentrated Formula. Got that right there. Well, I got Live Game Fish. Live Game Fish. Live game fish, live game fish for the bigger bass, and then live game fish again. Then, here comes the big bait. I'm talking about a big bait, the Striking Umbrella Rig. Now, I like this one. It was cheap. It was $14.99. I can dig that. I'm a budget angler. And then I got some expensive stuff. I like budget fishing. And I bought this for some tournament season. For tournament season, the fish for hybrids and largies and for smallmouth. And if you all know, I live in Georgia. In some parts of Georgia, there is smallmouth. In a lot of parts of Georgia, there's all kinds of fish you can think of. But got some of these like bass assassin jig heads on here. And one striking jig head, and we're good to go. And has those blades on there too, so you're never gonna catch something. Then, well, uh, so then I got uh, some other stuff. I got three new frogs. I got a lunker hunt, a yappa frog, got a yappa bug, a lunker hunt, got a prop fish. Oh, not a prop fish. I'm, I'm going to mix it up. A Strike King Hollow Body Poppin' Perch. This is the junior size. And then I got a H2O Express Jerk Bay. I love this brand from Academy. Then I got a Torpedo. Now, these Torpedoes are pretty good. They're old baits, but they make new colors. And this is uh, this one, the Baby Bass color. And then I got this new one. This one works too. The fire, the kind of like fire tiger color a little bit. I like a little. Got that HX Express Jerk Bait. Got the Steep Diver from Striking, the XD. Got the H, I mean, not the H2O. Striking Red Eye Shad, the Rattles. Got the HX Express Ultra Live Crankbait. Got the Rapala Lipless Crankbait. Got the Whopper Ploppers 75. I had one of these. My friend lost it on accident. He casted it off. I guess the knot, knot wasn't tied right on it. And I got a new one. This is like in a better color. Then I got this jerk bait. This, uh, I think this is a cheap crankbait from Ollie's. I tell y'all that this, including. Um, top artists and toms, like the torpedoes, and this bag of jerk bait I got in the mystery tackle box. These two baits and the Z Man TRDs and shroom heads. I'm telling y'all, in this pond I go to, I've caught so many fish using these baits out there, and it's pretty cool. Then I got this Rapala, uh, Shadow Rap Shadow Non Slow Rising. It don't spin. Then I got another torpedo. Then I got a cotton cordel miniature. Well, it's kind of miniature, but it's miniature to me. It's a lipless crank.
then on top of that, I got some new fishing line. I got a Mature Express green line. Got some H. HX for Swat Line, and then I got some Power Pro 20 pound, which I already used some of it. The Power Pro 20 pound test, 150 yards, proven power line. Uh, then I wanted to tell y'all about the Guggen baits. Well, they just dropped, they're supposedly making new baits now again. I don't know what they're making. For, I heard they're making a popper. But I did not know, just wanted to tell you all that, I, and I'm kind of like an ambassador for Guggen, for the Guggens. Like, I'm not lying to y'all, I don't know if y'all seen the post, but they had a thing where they were asking for people to join, to tell people about the, about them and about the baits. So I was one of the ones who got picked, and I have proof from a Gmail, an email that they sent me. But I wanted to show you all this. This is the lunker log. This is the sit. I think the five or six inch of it. This bait is so good. I mean, I'm telling y'all. And then these Ned rig baits. The only thing I need to get now is their crank baits, and then I need to get uh their dragon drop. Dude, I definitely would need those. But as y'all can hear, that's a new color I've never seen. And if y'all know, they actually smell a lot different. Than other baits like they smell a whole lot different than baits you're usually used to like they have a good they have a better they have a good scent in general but it's a different kind of scent that they put into it they use natural stuff and plastic but I want to tell y'all go check them out and I have a promo code I might put it in there I gotta figure out what it is I forgot it but so now we're getting into the bag. Well, this stuff I bought over the week. Like, I bought it from Academy, Academy uh, Chuck's Bait and Tackle near me. I think Bass Pro Shops at one point. And then, uh, i trying to think of the name. Uh, Tackle Warehouse. And that was probably about it. But, um, I got these crappy sliders. Which these are good for bass, crappy, bluegill. And all kinds of other fish. Like, I've caught so many fish on these. It's unbelievable. On that black and yellow color with the yellow tail, chartreuse tail. Mm, that gets them. That, that kills the fish. Like, that slays them. I'm telling y'all what. Then I got the brush hogs. Zoom brush hogs. Now, these are my favorite baits, too. The zip by Zoom. And Zoom Company in general is my favorite. But baby brush hog and red bug. Okay. Now. Better than salt, lizard, natural green. It, natural green's the color and it's a zoom lizard. That's a cool looking color. I'll actually show y'all how the package it looks like. And I love that smell of these plastics too. Like look at that color. That color is gonna get them. Like I know for sure that, that color is gonna get them. Because my friend caught a seven pounder using these. And the, to be honest, my personal best bass that I just recently caught in Crawford County was a six pounder. And like, and I was using a Texas rig weight, Texas rig with a weight with an EWG hook. Then I got these lizard, and those were in a green pumpkin with red fleck. But here's a, another Zoom product, Junebug Chartreuse Six Lizard. These things are cool too. Then I got, well I got these a while back but I haven't used them yet. It's called the Gargle Toe by Strike King. I love Strike King because they work well. They smell like coffee. Like I just love them in general. They have that buoyant feel to it and they have that buoyant thing when they hit the water. Like it's so good. Like so awesome y'all. Got the Zoom Old Monster 10 to 5 inch Plum Apple is the color. Then I got the Power Bay Berkeley Max Scent. The uh, Creature Hog. Then I got the Little Creature Crawl. Watermelon Sea Chartreuse Claw. 12 pack by Zoom. Then I got um, a, a few more packs of hooks. Well, I actually took the Z Man out of the package because I was excited to look and see what they look, see what the new size looked like. But I got them. 
in a pack, and I'll show you all here quickly. So I got um, the bullet weights. By, but these are actually from Chuck's Van Tower. This is their own brand. Then got Gamagatsu Superlani WG 4 rot Super Lawn. Got the Eagle Claw Worm Weights. I like Tungsten as well. It's just expensive. But Wu Tungsten and H2O Express Tungsten and Striking Tungsten is my go to. I'm telling y'all. But Wu Tungsten is my number one favorite because it's cheaper. And because it's non-chip, it doesn't chip. If I had these live bait HO Express hooks and fit th three off for, and then I had another package so I gotta find them, but one was three off. This is four off and EWG. Got some some uh, split shot weights. Got the Ned Rig weight hooks, and I never tried these before. The Ned Rig weed guard hooks. I've tried the other. Ned Rig hooks by Z Man, but never these and never this size either. So you, you gotta try something new every time, you know, right? Well, I got these now. I like these very much, uh, and I like them because they I feel like they'll last long. Then I got the Zoom Flukes Salty White Pearl. Then now let's get to the rods. The another fun part. So I went to Academy. They had this on sale. It was a uh, $19.99 regular price, but then it was four, and then it was $14.99. Let me tell you all the reason why. It was on clearance, and uh. I put some H hooks for slime here. It's a it's an angler tournament series angler rod and reel spinning rod reel. Then and this is actually, if I'm correct, it's like a I think the rod size. Um, it doesn't say it. I wish it did though. I think it's a six six. Then I got this is my friend's rod. He's gonna be fishing with that. He knows that he's a bait caster and a spinning rod. He just likes using these two. But he got the Zebco Splash. Now this rod's pretty good. It's like kind of stiff, kind of flimsy, but it's a good rod. Then I this is my newest, newest rod I just bought from Chuck's Bay and Tackle. I'll put a lizard in line on there and a weight with the hook. But it's a shock F62 millimeter Daiwa. But it's a shock dial reel. It's a model DSK F602MLC 6 foot lure 316 ounce. The 1 2 ounce line. I mean, a lure and the line 4 to 10 pound. I put 12 pound, but that's what I normally use. I don't have any. I have some other size, but I don't want to break off. Then this is my other newest rod, the Slab Shaker by Mr. Crappy. Now, this rod, I've had one before. But I sold it, and then I had another one that broke. So I bought me a new one for flipping docks and just casting in general, like casting them with the spinning, like like that, and then rolling them in. But uh, thanks, guys, for watching this video. Thanks for paying attention to this video. Uh, subscribe for more. Turn on post notifications so you see when I post, and like this video and comment. That's all I ask. But I will do fishing, some more fishing videos here soon. I'm getting my GoPro back, so I'm going to do that video too. But I'll see y'all later. Jacob Kinsh, Fast Fishing World, out. Peace.